While the debate of reopening the Crossridge landfill continues to brew, there is now a new factor at play. It's our top story. Thank you for joining us. I'm Rich Pierce. And I'm Kate Davison. The nearby Jefferson County Airport is working on launching a set of zoning regulations. News 9's Gage Golding explains why, if approved, the rules could impact the landfill. If passed, the airport zoning regulations wouldn't stop the landfill from reopening. However, they certainly wouldn't help. Approved by the Jefferson County Airport Zoning Commission at a meeting on August 12th, the zoning resolution is aimed to help regulate what can and cannot happen within the air park's surrounding area. Height is our basic concern, um, and really it, it's you would have to do a pretty tall building to uh, not have it approved. Other factors addressed is whether heavily populated businesses or residential areas would want to build in the approach of the airport. Also discussed, the possible reopening of the Cross Ridge Landfill, which is located just next door to the airport. It's not totally for the landfill, and we have to worry about if, if something produces wildlife that would get in the, the flight paths or cause a, 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 an airplane or a jet to fail, we have to make sure that we try to do what we can to limit that. These regulations won't help that landfill reopen. It will not help the landfill reopen, correct? It, it can have some influence on it. Residents that neighbor the air park and landfill hopeful for the regulations to be approved. There's so much positive growth that has occurred in our area over the last decade now that we are uh, we're finally moving forward in the uh, the uh, Thoughts of a landfill being in our area has, would be nothing but a detriment to our area. The final decision for the landfill would not come from the airport zoning board, but instead the Ohio EPA. And while the talk of reopening the landfill did help spur the zoning regulations, it's been in talks since the late 90s. The next step is for the regulations to appear in front of the county commission. And if everything goes smoothly, Fulton says they could be approved by the end of this calendar year. Reporting in Jefferson County for News 9. I'm Gage Golding.